Hey, good morning, this is Dr. Weir. So we're gonna be addressing some of the questions that we're getting off Facebook. Um, so please, if, if you have questions about anything, send it in and we'll try to, um, try to get to all of them. But one of the questions that I get fairly frequently is about calcium. And most of the time people are just saying, do I need to take calcium? If so, how much uh, and what kind? And this is a really, really complex uh, answer because the amount of calcium that the body needs um, and calcium is critical for so many things, I, I don't even have time to go into it. We you know, absolutely can't live without it. But as far as how much our, you know, the individual's requirement is determined by their sex, their age, where they are in life, their activity level, um, all of these things kind of factor into to how much do we need. And there's the possibility that we've actually been overdosing ourselves with calcium over the years. And I'm guilty of this too because uh, you know, previously I'd say, oh, you, you need calcium, just take a whole bunch of it and you'll be fine. Well, it turns out that the, the upper tolerable limit for intake, for daily intake for most adults, is around 2,500 milligrams. And between diet and supplementation, it's actually easy to get to that level or above. Um, with adults that are over the age of 50, actually the upper tolerable limit goes down to 2,000. So. Um, in the past, when I was telling people to supplement with, you know, one gram or two grams, that plus their diet was probably putting them in an excessive range. So, what I'm now telling people to do, and again, this is not perfect, but if you Google calcium calculator, you'll see there's dozens of websites out there where you can actually, even WebMD has a calcium calculator. You can plug in, you know, whether you're male or female, and then uh, your age or age group. And then you can actually just pick certain foods. So um, you can. So I actually did this yesterday. I just plugged in um, what I ate yesterday, and it said I, you know, completely met my um, calcium needs just based on my diet. So I didn't need, you know, extra supplemental calcium on top of that. Usually, if people need additional calcium, it's not going to be much. Um, so most people, if it was a day that because of diet they they didn't meet their needs. Um, most people are needing maybe 400, 500 milligrams, but I'm not seeing too many people, unless they're on a very restricted diet, that are needing supplemental you know, amounts above that. So, and we're also beginning to realize now that as important as calcium is, vitamin D, having your vitamin D in optimal blood range is critical. And vitamin K2 is perhaps arguably the most important hormone, if you want to call it that, in the, in the human body that actually tells calcium to go to the bone and not to go to other areas in the body where it really shouldn't be. And so I'm really starting to focus more on that with my patients and not necessarily just throwing additional calcium at people. In general, as far as, I'm just going to mention two main types of calcium that you can take. So calcium carbonate um, is a good form. It's easy on the stomach, but it does require stomach acid for absorption, so anyone who's on an acid reducer, anyone who has low stomach acid for any reason, um, if they can be taking it, it's probably gonna go right through, they're not gonna absorb as much. Calcium citrate, however, is less dependent on acidity for absorption, and so for anyone um, you know, on an acid reducer, low stomach acid, anything like that, um, calcium citrate's probably a better way to go. So, all right, talk to you next time.